You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here's the bona fide welterweight contender, Bilal. Remember the name, Muhammad. This man has been a force, really, ever since he stepped foot in the UFC. But over the last two years, his wrestling and his grappling and his pressure game have gone to an entirely different level. As such, he has vaulted into the top five in the world. And if he can win this fight tonight, don't look now, but Muhammad might be challenging for the title later this year. the shot there. Fast pace here in the early going. Can't take many of those. You better check. What a fun fight. These two are going back and forth. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attack. Oh! Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Nice body shot there. He needs to start trying to secure a takedown now. Three minutes. Oh, nice. strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. Well, he's mixing it up beautifully tonight, and there it is again, nicely done as he kicks the thigh, and some redness now starting to develop. Redness starting to show. His opponent needs to address this now before it gets so far down the line that he's playing catch -up. So a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks, and I know you'd like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to it here? I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone on, it is landing with more force, and his opponent is starting to wear down. So I will not be surprised if we see another one that ends the fight. Same back time, same back channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking looks because he's going to find the opportune time to drop that big hook over the top. Oh, knee strike right to the bottom. Under a minute to go in round one. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Lands to the body there. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. 15 seconds. Well, they made 
made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful lead on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire stop, with a stop, punch of his stop. own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. All right, so a lot of highlights from which to choose after those previous five minutes. And on the other side, you better start checking. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. <laughs> Keeping him honest with the jab. Oh, he connects there. Wow, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect. Muhammad gets lit up by that straight punch. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round and picking up exactly where he left off. That's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. He's watching a real good job of his jab right now. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Usman's thigh really starting to show signs of bruising now. That is a deep shade of purple. Nice one-two there. He blocked that one. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Nice kick to the body. Just misses there with the left. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Usman gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Oh, no pad on the foot. That's a solid kick right there. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You got to start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. And he caught the kick. from Kamar Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamar Usman showed in the Colby Covington fight. Not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Oh, a multitude of elbows raining down. Right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Usman's elbow blocked. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Muhammad's doing a nice job there. You saw him raise the guard to block that offering from the opponent. Don't want to see him. Just digs into the body. 